Welcome to the cruise vlogs for my solo trip on Virgin Voyages Brazilian Lady. I hope you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not because we are in for a great series. drop you off right here they take your bags get your room number and then you go uh, right into those little tents there so that first tent is the VIP of course we have VIP access for this cruise so we're gonna get in here and see what we have to do and hopefully we'll be in the room pretty soon <laughs> So when I went in there for the time slot, they actually told me this is where rock stars and we have to go this way. So we're heading into another building um, and hopefully we're about to board any minute. Alright, so this is the security for rock star slash influencers. smells so new y'all know i'm such a smell person it's giving new ship oh it smells so clean we are on the 11th floor and we are looking for 11106 they already have a lot of bags out here too all right so first thing we're gonna do is get to this room and drop this bag y'all it is hot it is hot um there was a little confusion about where I needed to go. Oh, look, here it is, here it is. It's really secluded and it's right here in the area. Okay, this is our room, 11106A, and this is a central C terrace. I'm feeling like I'm at home. I missed my rent elevator from being here. All right, so we're headed down to the manor to go to the VIP slash rockstar little uh, reception where they help you book short excursions and everything. Cause I have some stuff I wanna get. So um, let's go see what the manor looks like on this ship. Your um, rock star attendant helps you book any excursions you need or anything else. I got me some champagne and we're going to find some food. Okay, so we may not order anything, but we're gonna go and look at the docks. You know, it feels like being home. It's so weird being on the ship knowing you've never been here, but knowing where everything is on the ship. This area is slightly different across from um, where the coffee is. So I know that's new. Like I said, very, very similar to the Scarlet Lady, but um, as far as where everything is. And yeah, look at this. This is where the stand is. So instead of the love, laugh, live, you get the little horses. Since we at the dock house, it's only right we get us some octopus. I didn't try this last time. And the grilled um, goat cheese we went to. So we're gonna see what this tastes like. Get this octopus, y'all. Look at these views from the dock house. I love this place so much. I can't wait to be on the Scarlet Lady with my group in a couple months doing this. Always be 
you get to do is come over here and get one of these floats and shakes. So these are the fun ones. A couple of them have alcohol in them. You can get pretzels, wings. Um, so I didn't do this on my first cruise, but I did this on my second. So this is definitely gonna be a place I spend some time. Okay, so let me spill some tea. So this cruise is titled Virgin's Celebration. And this cruise is a celebration of 50 years of Virgin. And we're not just talking about cruising. We're talking about Virgin Records, Virgin Galactic, which is the space portion. We're talking about airlines, hotels, everything that Virgin does. And there are special CEOs from all of those divisions on this cruise that are gonna be leading events and holding conferences and giving never heard secrets about things that happen in the record. Um, company and the industry and just about all types of things like I don't even know everything but there's a lot but the biggest thing is come over here let me show y'all what's in Richard's rooftop right now alright so this is the influencer meetup here at Richard's rooftop there are apparently 12 influencers that were invited on this trip um, a lot of people brought a guest with them so not a huge group but Really interesting. I get to meet some new people. Do you know who did that? Who is Sir Richard Rams? I do, Alex. Let me believe it. Now, my darlings, I do have some special treats for you on this voyage. And firstly, because this is a, a voyage celebration, my darlings. Is that it? No, it's just a man. <laughs> Maybe he's not here, Abby. Maybe he's not here. Maybe he didn't come. Where is he? Everybody good? Yeah. Everybody good? <laughs> what a guy is Dr. Reedy! <laughs> anyway, we just want to say thanks very much for coming. I think we've got 2,000 of you on board. So... <laughs> I'm out for a party. Yeah. So, um, anybody going to jump in the pool? Alright guys, it is 6.42 and we are still here. Not sure what time we're leaving, but I may actually miss the official sail away because I need to get something to eat because we're going to a show tonight. And we're off seven days of beautiful Greek islands and new adventures. So cheers to new beginnings and let's go. Alright, so we just said sail away, which was so crazy, so packed. Nothing like the last version cruise I was on because I cruised January and um, there was a lot going on. It was a really good time. The music is lit. The music is lit on this ship. Um, I'm sure they did it all up for the CEOs and everybody that's on here. We saw Tom, who is the CEO of Virgin, and of course Richard Branson, who started this whole thing, who dared to dream. Um, he was at the Celebrate Party and I saw him in Richard's rooftop for a minute. I snuck a little bit of a video of him um, <laughs> for Instagram, so I'll have to insert it here so you guys can see it. But um, he's supposed to attend some, a couple of the events on the ship and I know we have some special events that we're supposed to attend. So we should see him um, a couple times, maybe even get a picture with him, which would be nice. But um, this cruise is so different for me because I do not have an itinerary. I did not lay things out like I'm so used to booking stuff and um, you know being ahead and knowing exactly what I'm going to do every day but for me this experience is so special like I'm like wherever the wind takes us like I've done enough stressing enough planning to last a lifetime the last three weeks so um, I'm okay with spending you know the next seven days just kind of taking it as it goes and um, you know finding whatever we can do so tomorrow we are going to Santorini um, I can't remember what's to follow after that, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what Santorini looks like. We're going to be there till about 9 p.m. I think, 9 or 10. Um, so we'll be there pretty late once we get there in the morning. Um, I know you have to book a tender to get off the ship, and all those are booked for the morning. So we'll probably be hanging around the ship and doing some exploring. But for tonight, I do not have a reservation anywhere, um, but I do have a show booked for 8 o'clock, which is Persephone, which I've heard is really good and is new to this ship. Um, they're eventually supposed to, I think, spread it to Scarlet Lady. Um, maybe it'll be on when I get back on in November, but um, it'll be a new show that I haven't seen yet, so looking forward to seeing that. But so far, like, all positive for the ship. Like, the way that it, it I know this is so crazy, but the way it smells and how new it is, it's just so odd. <laughs> Cause I mean, it's just, it's like, rip me out the plastic, I'm brand new. 
<laughs> ship okay okay it's giving new ship um but yeah so that's the plan for today i'm gonna show you guys what i do of course but um we are off goodbye evans She's our main character. Don't forget her face. Put her on, put her on display for the gods of men. She didn't want to play. She went a wall and vanished in the night like fuck that shit. Adolescence, right? But then she met Hades, the king of the dead and graces. Did the slayer of the ladies and gentle dams and babies. to be similar to Untitled Dance Party thingy where it moves around like you move around with the stage and everything y'all I have never stayed through that Untitled Dance show thing and it's a good show but it just isn't entertaining enough for me to stay and stand the whole time y'all I could not leave this show this is the best show I have seen on a cruise ship like I'm not joking that show was so entertaining the music was good the costumes like wow Y'all, so I am back in the room. I took a shower but left my makeup on and put on my pajamas because tonight is the adult pajama party. I got this really cute three piece set from Amazon, and y'all, it's so cute. It's a little short because y'all know I'm 5'9, so most time Amazon stuff be a little short, but I still love the way it looks. It's so cute. Hopefully, I can stay awake long enough for this party, though. I just ordered some ship eats, so I'm getting some food delivered to the room because um, I just don't feel like being in a restaurant tonight. So, I'm going to watch a movie until the party starts and then hopefully make it to the party. So, let's see what happens. Alright, so this is the first night and I really don't feel like eating out. I ordered ship eats. And um, Ship Eats is $7 if you don't order anything that costs money for the delivery fee. If you order like a beverage or something that costs money, then um, you don't have to pay that delivery fee, so it's free. But look at this steak. Oh, y'all, look at this meal. I'm about to eat good. Um, the chicken noodle soup was interesting. So it came with just the noodles and the chicken in here and then the broth in this little tin. And so then you pour the broth over it. But y'all, I'm about to eat this. Um, and then try to gear up for the pajama party. So, um, ship eats is one of my favorite things to do during breakfast, but I definitely love being able to get dinner and deliver to my room anytime too. I cannot believe it. I am awake. <laughs> it is 11 15 and I'm still up and pajama party fit is ready to go. Pajama party time. Headed over to the athletic deck. So this time is outside, um, which is similar to the first time I cruised because the second time it was inside. I don't know why, because I feel like the weather wasn't bad, but back outside this time. And let's see how many people are actually still awake. <laughs>
in Santorini. Ah! This is really the only place that I know about um, in Greece. So I'm very excited to be here. Very excited that this is the first stop and I'm still energetic and um, ready to get out and explore. So this is a port where you have to get a tender. So I think they said you have to get on like a smaller boat and take it over to the island. Um, this is the second time I've done this because I did it at Half Moon K way back, like on my very first cruise. So um, it's going to be interesting to see the process of like having to get a tender to get over to the island. I don't really have any plans today. Um, don't really know what's going to work out. My goal, my goal is to try to get a Santorini dress shoot and I have not I, I have been wanting to do that forever but I just have struggled to coordinate it where it financially made sense because they're expensive um and so we're gonna see if I'm able to do that um I'm gonna tell you guys some details if it happens if not it's no sense in even putting this in the video so <laughs> um but for this morning we're just gonna be exploring the ship and staying on um because you do have to have an appointment to get off of the ship and I wasn't able to get one um just because I got registered and everything so late so um that is the plan for today but let me show y'all what Santorini looks like let me give y'all a couple of views of this beautiful place look at that We have an MNC ship over there. I don't know which one it is. We gotta get to the other side to see what it looks like. I'm not even sure officially where the island is, but we're gonna go up to the galley, so um, I'm sure we'll get to see some more in a second. All right, so I just grabbed some really quick breakfast um, from the galley, and now I'm up here just taking in these Santorini views of y'all. I could not believe this is real. I just could have never imagined seeing this in person. It's so beautiful. I feel like that child on that little meme. Just like, she's so beautiful. <laughs> what do you sound like his little sister? Oh, oh my goodness. Just, it's like a spiritual feeling getting to see this in person. Like these are little houses and towns and who knows what else is up there. But wow wow this is an experience like this is what i say like all the time about there is so much more to offer than what we see every day like being from memphis which is you know a considerably small city um in the grand scheme of things man i just never dreamt that seeing things like this was possible Y'all not gonna get any more tears from me. We cried enough in the video leading up to this trip, but it's just, it's, this is this is such a blessing. So amazing. I hope all of you guys watching this get an opportunity to experience it. Cause it's, it's definitely breathtaking. Wee! 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 Santorini, Greece, the last tender comes at 8.30 and the gangway is here on 6. So this is 7 with the roundabout. We're just getting ready to walk around the ship and just see what we can find. Um, maybe go to the dock house and look at the views of Santorini from there because I'm sure that they are incredible.
Tinder is starting to move. We're leaving. somewhere around here um so i am about to attempt to get over to ia i don't know if that's how you say it but oia um and i'm gonna try to do something that is on my dream bucket list and if you know about santorini you know what the big thing is that people do here so um, i'm gonna go over there and explore a little bit see what all we can find um so this is the line to get back on the ship once you get off the cable car, so it's right here. So once you get off the ship, they will give you two tickets, one for up and down the cable car, so you can ride for free. So that's how you get around. Okay, so I saw a little place that said that you could stop, um, that they would take you over to Ia by motorboat, but apparently that's done for the day. And the only way to get over there is by local bus. Y'all, <laughs> please do as I say not as I do because I'm about to attempt this and I'm a little worried <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work out but um Santorini is so beautiful it's hot I definitely have my sunscreen and everything um but I don't know what's about to happen today <laughs> all right so I just gave them my ticket to get on the cable car and it seems that coming at this time was a great decision because the line is not too bad um, for going up. This is the line to return to the ships and go down the cable car. Officially stepping in Santorini. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It, it is definitely ridiculous. Exactly. I should have known if people were walking, they weren't doing it by choice. <laughs> have a good time. Thank you. You too. Guys, I definitely should have planned this out. There are tons of places that will go over to Ia, but everybody has already gone for the day. So um, it's telling me that the meeting spot for the photos is like 25 minutes away. And I think that's as a drive. So walking is not feasible. So it's not looking good for my photo op for my Santorini dress. I'm so hurt. interest to say the least I'm gonna tell you guys what I did and what you should safely do as a solo traveler to reach here <laughs> I survived but this is definitely one of the craziest things I have ever done and I was just so scared for a minute because I took a local taxi and um, like me at ride I was like how do I know that this is a real taxi how do I know this guy isn't gonna you know go off the chart and all of that <laughs> take me somewhere that I don't know where I'm going but we're, we're gonna talk about it in detail a little later but this is where the meeting is for the dress shoot at Luno um, here in Santorini so we're gonna take me in some of these views and I'm gonna show you guys around until the shoot starts in about an hour
restaurant. You guys, I have no idea what we're gonna see, but it's so beautiful here. I just, I'm trying to take it all in. Um, it was a little hectic getting out here. Oh, man, I can't believe I just arranged a taxi like that. Y'all know that's so not like me. That's so unsafe. Um, <laughs> but I'm starting to kind of calm down and take this in and recognize where I am. But y'all, look how slim the streets are. This is it. I don't know how they drive on out here. Like, there is no way. I would probably have an accident per day. the Santorini dress shoot. Oh, I just did my first photos. They look amazing in the preview, so I'm so excited to see them. Um, of course, I came with a group, so the other girl's about to do hers here. Oh, it's very awkward to pose and take professional photos, but it looks good. Okay guys, so I'm currently on the cable car getting ready to go back to the ship. It is about 7.40. And you guys, I broke my cardinal rule. First off, okay, when I get to the room, I'm gonna tell y'all the whole story, but let me just say right now, this was so stressful and so chaotic. I don't know why I did this to myself, but I'm so happy I did a Santorini dress shoot because that is like my dream thing to do. It worked out, but when I tell you guys, everything was so on a whim and just so unorganized and chaotic, it wasn't necessarily the company's fault. It's my fault because I didn't plan accordingly. And I decided today, like, I'm going to try to make this happen. But y'all, I got it done. I did it. I probably look like stressed <laughs> the whole time. But oh my goodness. Y'all, when I get back on this version ship, I'm going to be so happy. Monday, the first stop of this cruise is Santorini, and I am back in my room. And okay, let me breathe. All right, you all know I tend to be a little bit dramatic at times. I get it. Like I, I be, I be doing the most sometimes. Today has been the most chaotic day I have ever experienced, and it was nobody's fault but my own. All right, story time. Let me tell y'all what happened in Santorini. First off. There is not very much footage from Santorini, so that should tell you something, okay? Um, let me let me put you all in the moment in what's going on right now. It is now 8.30. My reservation for dinner is at 9 o'clock, and um, we are leaving this dock. The last tender for this dock just came um, at 8.30, and we are going to leave at 9 o'clock to head to Rhodes for tomorrow. All right, back up. So... I'm not ashamed to say it. The most I knew about Greece really was my big fat wedding, Greek dressing, Greek, Greek salad dressing, um, Greek yogurt, and Santorini dresses. That is all I knew. So ever since I saw a Santorini dress, I was so in love and I was like, that is something I want to do. Now, I thought that I would be doing the flying dress shoot in Jamaica because Jamaica is like a three hour flight. So I never envisioned really getting to come to Santorini. I would always screenshot 
um, people with those dresses follow the pages and just be so enamored by the shots and what it looked like and the experience. So today I pulled up to Santorini <laughs> and um, so I found out, y'all know I found out about this cruise about three weeks ago and the first thing I was like, hey, I want to do a Santorini shoot while I'm there. And um, y'all know this, this trip is sponsored, but um, anything I want to do like that comes out of pocket. Uh, your girl did not have the budget to do it. I have seen packages that are $900, that are $600, and the cheapest that I found was $300. And the way I found that was joining a Facebook group. Um, I found out that someone that's on this cruise kind of organized and said, hey, um, I have this place. They said that if you all will come as a group, uh, we will charge you $270 to get eight photos and all of that. So I'm following the Facebook group. I reach out to the actual photographers, set up everything to do it. And I'm still in the back of my mind, like, I don't know if this is really gonna happen. They want you to pay in euros, um, which is why I had to get the currency exchanged while I was at the airport in Atlanta. So I got my um, cash exchange and everything. I come out here this morning. I'm messaging them on Instagram. So all communication is done with the um, dress company through Instagram. I'm messaging them. Of course, there's a little bit of a language barrier. Um, and so I'm just completely confused on what to do. There are two different places that you can go to get this done. So there is um, some place called Emeraville. Y'all, Lord, I, I should have studied this before I got on here and told this story. But so there's that place. And then there is Ia. So Ia is a lot further. And the group, the one that I booked with was like, we will pick you up and take you to the I word to do the shoot because it's not that far. Well, the group that I chose to join, which was the 5 p.m., they had it to where um, the shoot was in the further place. So I get off the ship. I don't have a plan. I'm thinking, how hard is it to get over to the other side of the island? Apparently very difficult. So you had to be off the... Um, the ship by like three o'clock because all of the places closed and everything they don't they won't take you by ferry they people were telling me take the local bus to get over to this shoot so i'm walking into every place that says that they do luxury service and taxes and all that i find a place that's finally willing to take me they charge me for the return trip and y'all know i tell you never 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 do um excursions that you that are not led by the cruise line if you're solo because you don't want to run the risk of getting left it's just a lot safer to be with employees of the cruise at your own so i broke my own rules today and um i pop into this random taxi shop they set me up a driver to take me over to the town that's like 25 minutes away i get i walk up there and like when i tell y'all the setup was so strange because when you get there um, she tells me to come outside. It's not like Uber where I'm tracking it in the app or anything, or I can see anything. She tells me to get into the car. She opens the car door. I get in the car and I'm just so excited to do this dress shoot. Like all common sense went out the window, but then all of a sudden it clicks and I'm like, girl, you just got into a random car. You don't even know the plate of what you just got into. This is maybe it's a taxi. Maybe it's not. I don't know. You just found a random company and jumped in a random car with some man and you riding by yourself. I know y'all, I shouldn't have done it. I should not have done it, <laughs> but I'm here, I'm here. I live to tell the story. So I'm panicking, I'm texting everybody I know, and I'm like, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm taking a picture of the driver through the uh, <laughs> from the back seat. And I'm like, hey, if you, if you don't hear from me in a minute, this is where I am, is if anybody can do anything while I'm on a whole nother continent. Anyway, get dropped off at the meeting spot. All is fine, all is well. Um, I see some people that are standing there that are doing the dress shoot. And I talked to them and everything's on the up and up with the company. So I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, we'll be back in 45 minutes for your shoot to start. So I'm just kind of shooting the breeze and hanging out in the area and everything. Well, he doesn't come back for like an hour and 45 minutes. And so my shoot starts at five. It was supposed to start at five o'clock. They don't get there to 530 and the dresses don't get there close to the 550. My taxi is set to come back at 630. And they're like, don't be late. I already paid in advance and everything. So um, I get with the guy. He does the shot. Luckily, I'm in the shoot with someone else that's on the ship. So I'm like, okay, at least I have somebody with me if I get left. You know, it's not anything going to happen. So the guy is like, hey, well, cancel your taxi. I'll take you back to the ship. We can arrange it and all of that. And I'm like, 
if you're sure you can do that, I'll cancel my taxi I already paid for because I really didn't feel comfortable just riding by myself anyway. And I knew I would ride with the people that were going to be coming back. Um, and so I cancel it. We started to shoot. It's me and one other woman. And so we're doing the shoot. And you guys, what they say about Santorini being absolutely chaotic and just people everywhere. Um, so keep in mind, this is sunset. So everybody's trying to capture the perfect shot. There's steps everywhere, it's steep. I'm gonna be in certain videos so you guys can see because I did try to get a little bit so you could see what I'm talking about. Um, there's donkey poo on the road. I mean, it's just, it was so much. It was so much to take in and so much going on. And in the meantime, I have on this big ass puffy dress and I'm walking with it. Yes, I had to change pretty much outside. They brought a little pop-up tent um, and they're tying me up in the dress. and. <laughs> Y'all, it was just so much. It's so hard to even tell because it's just so much that happened so quickly. But in the end, I got the shot. <laughs> the shot was got. I did it. Um, I saw a preview. The pictures are beautiful. I got some videos. Um, and the the company was great with the exception of starting late. Um, but once we got done with the shot, we were supposed to go to three different places. I talked to the girl that I was with and I told her, hey, are you okay with them just doing two? Because I really don't want to bump this close to getting back on the ship because the last, there's like all these things you have to do because we have to take a tender back to the ship. So it's not even like you could just walk and get straight on a ship. You have to get on a little boat to get to the ship. And so um, it's like seven o'clock when we get done taking photos. So we're like running and gunning it to get back. And then we have to go from the taxi ride, so like 25 minutes to the city. Then we have to go to the cable car, which takes us slowly down, 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 down <laughs> this hill. And I'm saying it like that because I'm gonna insert the video and y'all will see what I mean by it. It's insane. They tell you you can walk it possibly. Don't believe nobody to tell you that you can walk up Santorini. If that's, that's not, it's just not feasible. So we get on the little ferry, get back to the boat. And um, I am just so relieved. So I've been back on the boat now um, since eight o'clock. I walked, I stepped foot on the ship at eight o'clock. The last tender was coming at 8.30. So I did not bump up to the to, to the brim, um, but this is so stressful getting on. I get on the ship like hours before it's time to leave. So there's never any doubt that I will get left. Today, I didn't know, I didn't know. And I, that I should not have done that. So learn from me and don't do that. Um, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to tell you guys as far as if I recommend doing a shoot while you're on the ship. There are a couple different things that you have to take into account. Um, the earliest that we could get off the ship really was like, I think somewhere between 9 or 11 a.m. and you had to schedule it. So if you didn't schedule it, you couldn't get off. So I couldn't even get off the ship till like 12 o'clock today. So, um, you know, it's with the heat and the sun and all of that. I, I would say if you're going to do this, do it first thing in the morning, but you're going to be in extreme heat. It's going to be uncomfortable. You're barefoot. So you're going to be walking on the ground and your feet are going to burn. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to say if you're going on a cruise, just prepare to be stressed or hot or uncomfortable when you do this. Now, I'm going to do a separate video giving some pointers and talking through exactly what I did as far as getting ready and how I kind of planned and some things I bought or brought with me that helped. The situation but this was chaotic y'all it was it was an absolute it was a lot it was a lot but i survived it um i hopped in a random taxi that could have not been a taxi um took pictures like in front of all these people stepped near donkey poo you know <laughs> it's just <laughs> i can't believe it but you know what i had an experience now that i made it back y'all i had a time in santorini did I see Santorini? No, I dealt with this damn dress all day, but um, hopefully the shots make it worth it. Um, but that's gonna be all for now. I'm gonna go to dinner at Razzle Dazzle, so I'm gonna take you guys to see it. This is gonna be my first time actually having dinner there. It was the only place that was open for a reservation tonight, so um, that's where we're gonna go. So I will see you guys back at Razzle Dazzle, but um, I'm sure there are gonna be more details I have to share about this dress situation when they come back to me. I'm just still like kind of anxious right now um and just trying to bring it down but um yeah so next thing will be razzle dazzle and i'll see you guys back in a minute Okay guys, so 
I have gathered my composure and I'm headed to dinner at Razzle Dazzle. Um, so we're getting ready to try their new menu. I've heard this one is a little different than what you would experience on Scarlet Lady. So this is um, one of the changes that you'll see, but they're, they're slowly transitioning that menu over to Scarlet too. So um, we're gonna see what they have. I've never eaten dinner at this restaurant, so I'm looking forward to it. because um, somebody here in Greece was like, it's Rojores. Child, they know that they should have known better than trying to teach me Greek. <laughs> yeah. But today I actually have an excursion with some of the members of the Virgin team. Um, and so it's going to be a good time. So I think some of the um, other influencers are coming too. And we're going to see an Acropolis of Lindos or something like that. I don't really know what I was doing. I was just like, I'm in. So um, we're going to get off the ship today, do a little bit of exploring. But first we are starting with breakfast. So we're going to head down to the galley, get us an omelet made, um, and then prepare for this day. So see you back in a minute. This is going to be a walkthrough of the galley. For those of you who don't know, Virgin Voyages includes over 20 restaurants and a bulk of them are here in the galley. Now the galley is going to be comparable to what you would see as a buffet area or a Lido deck on a cruise, but Virgin Voyages does not do buffets. So you have this section where you can sit down and place an order from any of these different stands. So that area we just passed was called the Daily Mix and that is where in the afternoon you would get salads, but in the morning they have bread. There are tons of selections, plenty of things to choose from so no shortage there. This area that we're currently at is the sweet spot in the afternoons but in the morning it's called well bread and this is where you're going to get more breaded items so more and more bread bread bread. <laughs> This next section that we're coming up on is my favorite, which is Diner and Dash. Now this is a 24 hour breakfast where they will make it fresh to order. You can order any time of night or day. And as you guys can see, the selection is huge from tater tots to sausage, bacon, roasted tomatoes, everything. They will even make you an omelet if you ask for it. Next section is Bento Baby. And during the afternoon, this has sushi. So you can just walk up, grab a box of sushi, sit down, take it to your room, whatever. Um, during the morning these are bento boxes of different selections of fruit so really good to add to any breakfast next is let's talk about it which is um, a taco stand that serves different kinds of tacos next is noodle around which is one of my favorite for ramen bowls these are delicious they have a spicy one that is absolutely to die for um, in the morning they do an express breakfast here so if you're on the go you can just grab breakfast really quick Next is hot off the press. So this is where you're going to find paninis and sandwiches of all sorts. There's a Nutella sandwich, peanut butter and jelly, everything you can think of. First views of roads from my cabin. All 
All right, so I'm down here in the main meeting area for the um, roads excursion. And this excursion is actually led by one of Virgin Galactic's astronauts who have been in space. So it's gonna be really cool to get to meet um, her or him and get to see some other views and roads. So we're gonna head there in a minute and I'm gonna tell you guys all about how the process is. So stay tuned. Okay, so you're meeting in the um, little rotunda on seven, come down to four. Um, they give you a number for your bus. And as you guys can see, each bus is numbered right up here in the front. And we are going to bus 10, which is right here. Nice to meet you. Paris, Lac, Paris of Joy, Paris of Helen. Please stay with us for the end of our visit, for the end of the tour, so you may leave your belongings in the bus wherever we go. And uh, I guess we'll be back around 3.30, which means that uh, since the last one we brought is 5.30, we still going to have two hours if you want to go and see the medieval town opposite to the harbor. All these fortifications belong to the city of the Knights of St. John. We can always go back in town. It was at this moment that I learned that you had to climb 300 steps to get to the top of this excursion. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. This is the main square of the village. Now we are going to enter the main square of the village. I cannot believe I actually climbed all 300 steps to the top of the Acropolis, but it is absolutely beautiful. And some pieces behind me, what you see that's not shiny was built in like two and four BC. Insane, insane to see something that um, was built that long ago in that much history. And when I show you guys the views from up here, it is so beautiful, so amazing y'all. This was a good choice. I kind of fell into <laughs> um, this event, but um, this was a good choice because it's beautiful. Hey guys, so I was able to take plenty of photos um, and get taking these beautiful views, but I am about to head down. So it's back down 300 steps. <laughs> So let's begin the journey down and get back to the shuttle for the next stop.
One of the highlights of the Virgin Celebration Cruise was getting to spend time up close and personal with different members from Virgin Group. So in this event, we were able to hear firsthand from members from Virgin Galactic. So listen to Jamila tell her story about visiting space. You will not believe it. Take too much of your time, but one of the things that we know on Earth is that there are borders and there are barriers and people put themselves in boxes, but you see none of that from space. So it's this feeling of seeing the planet and knowing that you belong <laughs> no no don't cry <laughs> you belong to this planet it is your home planet and what a thing to go to space and not want to just peer into the darkness and this depth and this vastness but going to space and wanting to look back at your home and it was the most amazing experience of my life it was the best day of my life uh, I keep saying that and my husband brings up, yeah, thumbs down over there because he says, what about our wedding day? Uh, <laughs> but it was it was the most incredible, incredible moment. And um, I've been with the company for four years. We've been talking about transformational space flight. We've been talking about taking people to space. And uh, it's every bit and more amazing than what we've been saying. So I was just, it's been a divine honor to do it and an absolute privilege. And so... Any questions you've got, uh, we'd love to, to understand uh, what, what you guys are thinking about it. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a new industry for sure. So. <laughs> this excursion also included lunch with these beautiful beach views. So we all sat at the table as a group and had an authentic Greek lunch. We got to know each other a little bit better and it included all the wine you could drink and of course tons of different seafood and Greek meal options. do not hurt at all after walking on those hills and I do not fly I don't care squeak away I'm a couple of hours late doing a recap on the excursion, but it was so amazing. And so, um, of course, you guys saw us get on the bus and um, go to the Acropolis and everything. The 300 steps really wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I had these shoes that were perfect. The hiking shoes made the world of difference. My feet don't hurt at all. I wasn't slipping. It really helped to kind of grip. Um, so those turned out to be an awesome purchase and a great find. Um, and so I actually had an opportunity to speak with Stephen, who is the first employee of Virgin Galactic. Um, Sir Richard brought him on personally to um, kind of lead the charge into them entering space and opening up that division. And he had so much to say about the culture of Virgin and what, you know, Richard's plan has always been for um, treating people well and, you know, just taking care of communities and everything. And we had an opportunity to really discuss what cruising has been like for us um, and coming in contact with the crew and um, it was just really amazing to hear the effort that they put into really um, not only just compensating people but treating people fairly and compensating them in a fair way and so you know they talked about how um, everything that version creates and kind of sticks their hands in it's they do it because they see um, something that needs to be improved upon or changed within the industry. And so, of course, with cruising, there's so many different things that you hear. Um, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but, you know, I've always heard that the crew wasn't treated as well um, on some other cruise lines and so it's very good to hear that version makes such an effort to treat their crew well on the ship and allow them to um, go to the regular spaces that guests would go to as long as they're not there and they get to have their own crew parties and do all of these other things and they provide free internet so that the crew can stay in contact with their families and, and everything and so it was just really beautiful to hear um, that it made me feel even more special to be a part of uh, working with 
with this brand because that's that's just amazing that you know of course everyone has to make money um there has to be a financial component to it but to know that they're actually um trying to treat people well across every uh version company and everything that version is affiliated with is just so beautiful so um, I got to talk to him on top of the Acropolis, and then I met with Jamila, who is one of the um, astronauts who went to space actually three months ago. Like, wow, just three months ago. And I mean, it almost brought me to tears to hear her experience and what it was like for her because she detailed like not seeing borders. And um, she talked about the fact that the um, spaceship actually had 17 cameras inside. And so she showed me on her phone what it looked like to see Earth. So it showed like her as well as what she was looking at and seeing, um, seeing Earth from space. And I mean, it was just wow. Like the video that I saw is indescribable. So I can't imagine what it must be like for her. And, um, you know, her husband was here. And so we really, really got an opportunity to really interact with her and learn about um, Virgin Galactic as a company and what her space experience was like. Um, there also was another astronaut who was there as well. And unfortunately, I cannot remember her name. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't remember her name. But um, she was amazing, too. And just everyone was just so willing to just talk to you and detail their experience and answer questions. And they were just so patient. And it was just so beautiful. And so I ended up on this excursion kind of as a, a on a whim. Um, but I'm so happy I did because it was such a unique experience and something that I would have thought I, I would have thought I could not climb 300 steps of that Acropolis and um, you know I would have counted myself out and so I did something that I did not know that I physically could do and that I was strong enough to do and you know it turned out to be beautiful like looking down at everything from there the Acropolis was um, they said it's been there since like 4 BC so I mean it, it was just such a moment where when you think about that like wow um, and so after we did the Acropolis thing, we hopped back on the bus and we went to um, dinner or went to lunch out at a um, restaurant where it was overlooking the beach and the bay. And oh my goodness, the views were so amazing. And they just brought plate after plate after plate of food, different seafood. There were like mussels and um, calamari and little shrimp and I mean, just Greek salad, just more and more and more, everything you can eat, just wine that you could just pour. And I mean, it was just such an amazing experience. And so I am very, very happy with um, the excursion that I went to today. I, like I said, I knew nothing about roads. And so, um, you know, it was, it was pretty interesting to do something fun and something outside of just staying on the ship. Um, I will say the thing that's a little difficult in navigating this and that we're going to so many amazing places um, is that I don't really get to spend a lot of time on the ship or a lot of time in my room or on my balcony. Um, I know we have only one sea day and um, during that they're going to be doing different um, like mini series and conferences about uh, with with some of the different version um, CEOs and divisions that are here. And so it's a little difficult to navigate that piece of it. But I mean, what a beautiful issue to have, like being on an amazing ship or going out and, you know, experiencing ama an amazing new place. So definitely feel so blessed to be here um, and have been having such a great experience. Um, so the agenda for tonight is we are going to Pink Agave. Um, I think there is a show called Misbehave that's happening tonight. So I want to at least pop in there and see what it's about. Um, but other than that, um, schedule's pretty open. You guys know Pink Agave is one of my favorite, favorite restaurants on this ship. I think it's the, yeah, it's my favorite restaurant on the ship. Um, so I'm getting ready to get my steak. Mm, mm, mm. I can just taste it now and um go and see what pink agave is all about again um and then we'll see what we get into the rest of the night i am so tired guys like um i didn't do this recap earlier because i came in took a shower and went straight to sleep um i'm having trouble adjusting to the time i think because i um, go to sleep at about two in the morning and then i'm waking up at six in the morning so it's kind of like i'm awake during um both time zones and and times and so that's a little difficult to navigate but um 
it's gonna be okay we're gonna nap through it because it's it's such an amazing experience we need to be up most of it anyway so um let's get into the night activities and figure out what we're gonna wear see you guys back in a minute <laughs> I'm here and I have never sat back this far in Pico Gave, so I don't know if the other one looks like this on Scarlet Lady but it's so cute but we're actually here in time to bump up against the, um, res the Pico Gave After Dark which starts in 30 minutes so we're gonna see this place transform a little bit in a minute so I'm excited. I just fangirled so hard because I met the chef um, who created the pink agave menu and meals. Y'all, she was so cool. She sat at the table with me while I actually ate my steak. And you guys know how I feel about that steak. I always talk about how good it is and how it's my favorite meal. So what an experience. That was so unexpected. What a day. <laughs> So it is 5.58 and I have um, moved up my spa appointment. So I'm about to do that um, for the day. Yeah, I'm exhausted. So I have been so excited throughout this trip that I'm barely sleeping. Um, so I've had about two hours of sleep. So we're gonna go and spend probably like an hour in the spa and then um, come back to the room, try to get a couple hours of sleep before we go to um, the excursion today. But y'all, this is ridiculous. This is so crazy. <sighs> today, <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. <laughs> today we are in Bodrum, Turkey. Um, and I'm gonna do an excursion with the Virgin staff. I think, I think, you know, nothing makes sense anymore. I'm just tired. <laughs> Um, I'll be back in a minute, y'all. Mm. Mm. We made it. I popped on some sunglasses, y'all. I can't be over here looking this crazy. Hopefully my voice strains out any minute. I sound like a frog. <laughs> Such a pretty little spa. My favorite spa on the ship by far. I love Redemption Spa. I've just been sitting here on the marble floor. Um, I've been in the hot tub for a second and now I'm going to finish out and sit in the sun or steam room for a minute. Um, and then I'm probably going to grab breakfast and try to go back to bed because um, like I told you guys, I've been asleep for maybe two, two and a half hours. Um, this excitement is going to have to wear down. <laughs> we can't do this for the next couple days. Um, I can't believe we're almost halfway through this trip. So after today, 
we'll be um, having our first and only sea day. And after that, we'll be going to um, Mykonos and spending the night there. So, ah, so excited. You guys, I'm just getting back to my room. These are the first views from Bodrum, Turkey. Oh my goodness. How beautiful is that? Oh yeah, I have to get off the ship today. Look at that yacht, y'all. Oh, they got money, money. All right, so I did not get a nap. Um, I have been sitting in the hammock and playing around and straightening my hair and doing everything but resting. But I actually feel okay. My throat feels a little funny, so I'm headed to breakfast and I'm definitely gonna pop me an emergency. Um, and I'm gonna eat really quick just in the galley. That seems to be every day for breakfast now. And so we're going to do that and then um, get ready to head to the excursion in about an hour. So that's it. All right, guys. So I just took a private car over with the Virgin Voyages social media team to the Mandarin Oriental, you guys, in Bodrum. It is beautiful. I cannot wait to show you guys these views. Um, the team is amazing. Shout out to Virgin Voyages. Thank you so much for inviting me out with you guys. Can't wait to hang with them for the day and show you guys what we see in this hotel. amazing view at the mandarin oh this water is so pretty i think we're gonna have to go inside for a minute it is extremely hot like brutal out here um but i am loving it like the entire version team is so cool oh this water is crazy mm. oh hold on y'all i'm gonna show y'all the video and then we get out of this because it feels very slippery salty and cold <laughs> super cold look at this So pretty. Okay, 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 yeah, that's enough of that. myself and have like a personal healing journey slash getaway and it's just absolutely gorgeous we just ate dinner as a group at this restaurant um that's right here as you guys can see there's a strawberry here 
there is a Versace over there, or Versace. <laughs> I have to say it fancy now. A BMW, and so supposedly this is where the celebrities come to get away um, and relax. And so you have like the infinity pool here, and there's one over there as well. But you guys, this resort is everything. I love, love, love this excursion in Bodrum. This is the one you have to do if you come on this itinerary. the day could not get any better but this is where the unimaginable happens so the social media manager for virgin voyages comes to me and she's like we want to create content of you while we're out here and so their official photographer and social media manager are guiding me through content and i'm creating and recording with them and you guys i am so happy that i did not get in my head and allow this moment to pass me because there were so many things that went through my mind so many insecurities where i was like i can't do this but i'm I'm so happy I bit the bullet and did it. Y'all know I'm a tripod girly, so getting filmed by somebody else is a little scary, but I did it, y'all. So after the video shoot, we get back on the shuttle to head back to the ship, and it starts rolling backwards. So that was a whole nother adventure. So we're having to reverse our car because the hill is too steep, and so some of us are gonna, all of us are gonna walk. It seems. <laughs> So eventually we get off the Sprinter and they get us cough carts to take us up the hill. And so it's quite a walk so it wasn't feasible for us to walk all the way up. And so during the golf cart ride we're just laughing and just completely shocked that this happened. <laughs> it was that last couple of rides. After the adventures of the golf cart rides, we get back on the Sprinter and you think it's all over, but the Sprinter actually breaks down after a couple miles. So we have to get on a whole nother Sprinter to get back to the ship. So the chaos and fun continued. We just stranded at the Mandarin and Bodrum. For the second time this week, I'm very late getting back to the ship. <laughs> Not my fault this time. <laughs> I don't need a lift. I got it up here. That's right. So we finally are on our way back to the cruise ship, and I think the tour guide got more than she bargained for with us. <laughs> All right, so after a very interesting trip, we have made it back to the port. So we have about two hours until we have to be back on the ship. I'm actually going to go ahead and go back because my throat is hurting and I'm not really feeling the best. Um, so I'm hoping I can get a little nap before the Scarlet Night festivities. But um, we're about to get back on the ship and I guess get into the night because it's 5 o'clock. There's the beauty. Resilient lady. We're headed back on the ship. Tomorrow is a sea day and we have two days in Mykonos and then we'll be back home. Once I returned to the ship, I found out I had an invite to the private party. Now, I already had tickets to the Another Rose show, but being who I am, I decided to try to attend both of them that night. Another Rose is a $50 upcharge and it's a dinner and a show, but it begins with this pre-show area where you're just kind of walking around, hanging out, and they're giving you drinks. And so the drinks are flowing from the moment you walk through the door. And so once I arrived, someone walked up to me out of nowhere and was like, hey, would you like to go to a private room? So here's what happened with that. This door is going to be unlocked the whole time. Okay. So you're welcome to come in and exit whenever you wish. What? So you want to come to the secret room of another rose? Oh uh, yeah, I do. All right. Let's do it. Please come in. Oh wow! Whoa! Whatever you like. Oh! <laughs> that kind of secret room. Uh, yeah. Are you familiar with Shabari? No. No. Mm -mm. You've never been tied up. No. Maybe your first time then. Yeah. So yep, that happened. I allowed him to blindfold me and tie me up and this was the final result. It actually looked really cute with my outfit. 
After my bunch chic experience, it was time to head upstairs to my seat to prepare for dinner and the show. So this is what the menu looked like and when you walk in, they give you yet another glass of champagne. So like I told you guys, the drinks are flowing with this show. Now remember I told you that um, I actually got the invite to the private party so I don't get to give you guys a review or tell you what the food was like because I had to leave but I did have a good time trying to get out of the rope before I headed out because I was not going to let everybody see me like that. Now if you don't know, Scarlet Night is the event on Virgin Voyages where you wear red, there is a mystical story that goes with it and a lot of other stuff going on. But this is the tour that begins the secret party slash event theme that you may hear floating around on the ship. Alright, I'm the boss. Okay. You're the boss. Okay. 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 This is my third Scarlet Night, but this is the first time that I experienced this section of it up close and personal on the inside of the building. Nothing could prepare me for what happened next. Someone came up to me and told me that I was going to be the bride of the night. I don't know what that means, but I went up to the front of the stage and it got pretty crazy. My name is Tara the Spark, and I am here to officiate your once a voyage very special Scarlet Night wedding. Who's ready for a wedding? You ready for wedding? Yeah, that's right. Well, welcome here. Let's get right into it. Let's meet our happy couple here. And now, who do we have here? What's your name? Tyler. Tyler. All right, and Tyler, I have a very important question. What's your favorite color? Red. Red? Yes, Tyler! Oh my God! He knew it! That's right, absolutely. And what's your name, my dear? Jennifer. All right, and Jennifer, I have an even more dire question, okay? Coke or Pepsi? Coke! She's a keeper, Tyler. How about that? The wedding got super crazy, but I had to leave that too, so it was time to head off to the next event which involved walking around the ship and experiencing some of the other parts of Scarlet Night. of the boundless depths of the ocean. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I was asking then, I wasn't, hang on, you're not afraid of the boundless depths of the ocean? No, not really. What are you afraid of? I've got trypophobia, scared of small holes when they're close together, like honeycombs and stuff. Next stop was in the crew quarters and it was so secret that I wasn't even allowed to record it, but it was pretty epic. The final stop was the Scarlet Night pool party, which is what I'm familiar with and know and love. So this is where you party with everybody and ultimately you may or may not end up in the pool.
like tonight has been so wild of a night i'm gonna try to just give a brief recap um because i'm trying to like not use my voice very much but um the first thing that happened was i went to another rose show which was a 50 dollar add-on and basically you were supposed to get all these servings of food and everything and they just keep bringing you drinks and it's just like a performance so it's like a dinner and a show well, I ended up getting back to my room and found out that I got an invite to the private party. So, of course, I have been dying to find out if the private party was a myth or not. So, I chose to do that. So, I left another rose. I did get a little footage of the beginning of it just to show you guys what it looks like um, and what was going on with the menu and everything. Um, so, I leave that, go meet up to do this tour slash secret party, which I'm going to have to talk about in detail somewhere else because... Like I said, can't do a lot of talking today. Um, and so after that, the tour stars, and, well, first off, at Another Rose, the little time that I was there, I someone comes up to me and they're like, would you like to go into a private room? And I'm thinking, okay, well, like what could possibly happen? They um, blindfold me, of course, with consent. And they tie me up and ask me, have you ever been tied up? Y'all, the weirdest stuff I have ever experienced. Y'all know, like, I am such a prude when it comes to stuff like that. So for me to get tied up was pretty extreme and pretty um, funny. And I definitely tried to get myself out of it. I'm going to insert a picture somewhere. So I did that. Leave, you know, probably 10 minutes into the that show and go to Scarlet Night for this tour for this private event. So I get down there, they come up to me and choose me to be the bride of Scarlet Night. You guys, I don't know what it is. Like, I am just standing out tonight and I'm like, I don't feel good. I'm holding this thing and I get married on the ship. Y'all, wildest night ever. But I'm hoping that if I get in the bed tonight, I will be back to normal tomorrow. I'm hoping I'm just exhausted because I'm running off about two hours of sleep. So I will see you guys back tomorrow. I'm going to get some pizza, go back to the room and get some rest. But that is it for the day. But wow, crazy day. And I didn't even get to tell you all about what happened earlier. But I'll have to do it when my voice is back. See you guys back later. And just like that, Scarlet Night is over. Good morning! Did you guys miss me? So it is next to the last day and we have just stopped in Mykonos. And you guys will notice um, when you see the content, see that I could not speak at all. My throat was so sore. I felt like it was closing up. I was really upset because I was like, I'm getting sick. And you know, I'm not gonna get to experience this beautiful place. And you know, it's just being on the ship. I've never gotten sick on the ship. Um, not like cough, cough sick. So, um, yeah, I was a little freaked out, but I'm thinking that it was just lack of sleep and maybe a little bit of like, um, what is that called? Like mucus buildup and all of that from these different temperatures and atmospheres. Cause I feel fine today. Um, my voice is still a little bit groggy and I have a little bit of soreness, um, in my throat. But other than that, I feel perfect. So, um, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be able to talk again. Like, yeah, I turned on the camera yesterday. And I was like, oh my God, I sound terrible. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not gonna talk today. Um, I'm getting ready to go to the galley and grab some um, hot water and salt and just gargle to try to loosen up anything else that's going on. But we have a fun day in Mykonos plan. I'm doing a late night excursion um, called Sunset 180, which is hosted just by Virgin Voyages. And um, we're gonna watch the sunset and everything and see some beautiful views out here. Take a little tour of Mykonos. Um, and then tomorrow morning, I'm doing a um, meal at someone's home here in Greece. So awesome, awesome excursions coming up from Mykonos. But I am so sad that this trip is coming to an end. I cannot believe it's coming to an end. Um, I really could do another week. <laughs> I got enough outfits for it. I feel like it, I could do another week. But it's been an amazing experience. But I'm going to let you guys see some views from here in Mykonos. And then we're going to get this day started. Um, right now I have on my heels, y'all. I love this outfit from Chrissy Duck. 
Um, this is not an endorsement. I paid for this myself. But I love this outfit and I would love to partner with her. So she makes clothes for tall women. And this is the 37 and she carries 37 and 39. Um, and I feel like this is long for me. So I am loving this fit. I'm going to insert some photos so you guys can see the whole thing. But that is what it looks like. So let's get ready to get off the ship and see what Mika Mouse is hitting on. solo traveler one of my biggest concerns was safety and even though you could leave and come as you please throughout the night since there wasn't a curfew or anything I really wanted to know what the area outside was like and it's very close to the ship and relatively safe as far as what I saw was maybe 10 minutes and what I loved was that there was a guide that was holding a sign that you followed throughout this entire excursion so you didn't have to worry about getting lost or anything while you were going to 180 Sunset. The official name of this excursion is Mykonos Sunset and Nightlife and as someone who loves a good sunset this was one of my favorite excursions I've ever done. I absolutely loved it and I highly recommend it. It comes with the food that you see here as well as a drink and then there's a later on portion that you guys will see that includes a couple more drinks. highlight of the excursion is watching the sunset and they play this beautiful music in the background and it is a whole experience. You don't realize how quick the sun sets until you're standing there and watching it. After 180 sunset, it was back on the shuttle to head to the next part of the excursion. So this was a little tour through the nightlife and you were taken to a couple of bars with the entire group and given some vouchers for drinks.
we were able to use our drink vouchers at this bar, but let me tell you, the drinks are expensive. Mykonos is expensive. So the good thing about this tour is you're able to venture off and make your way back to the ship as you want. So like I said, there's no curfew to get back on, and if you want to leave the tour, you're welcome to it. Okay, so I decided to leave the club and venture off on my own. Um, I want a Euro, so we need to get us some authentic food. So I'm in line at this new place that's like super packed. So we're about to check it out and see what it's like. So I really enjoyed the lamb skewer and probably should have gotten more of that, but I fell in love with pita on this trip. So this pita was really good and I love the lemon taste already. As far as the chicken pita, the fries kind of threw me off because they were a strange like really potato-y texture. After eating, I decided to explore the town a little bit more and then get back on the ship. The bad thing was I realized I did not really pay attention to where the shuttle was parked to get back. So the great thing was that I was recording so I was able to look back at my video and pop one of those locations in the map. So if you do decide to do this excursion and venture back to the ship by yourself, please remember where the shuttle is. Don't be like me. I want to have to walk back to the ship. He found it. <laughs> oh, look at the ship. It says Opa. Oh, how pretty. All right. Well, that was fun. So it's 10 36 and I'm back on the ship. But my outfit's so cute, I don't even want to go to bed yet. <laughs> and I know I need to because I have an um, excursion in the morning at 9. But, um, yeah. We're going to walk around the ship, see what's going on. And then probably close this thing out and get some rest. So, stay tuned. Oh. I got a I am so excited to um, do my last excursion in Mykonos. I was kind of going back and forth and like, maybe I should just go ahead and cut it off, stay on the ship today. Um, but I'm gonna do this excursion. So we're going to a, an authentic Greek home and eating a meal and drinking wine. I don't even know what I'll be doing, but I saw um, Lynette and Stanley do this from Life With Us TV and I'm so excited to get to experience it because they raved about how great it was. So, um, yeah, we're getting ready to do that, and then we have dinner at Test Kitchen tonight, and other than that, we don't have anything else planned, but there is so much I have not done on this ship. Like, I feel like I have not been on the ship because the excursions and the stops have been so great. So we're going to do a lot of content around the ship, and um, probably just hang out and just do the things we haven't done yet. So be sure to stay tuned, and I will see you guys back for the rest of the day. All right guys, we have another Prissy Duck Designs set. Look at this Ibiza set. Let's check. So this is the 37 inch 
um, set. It comes in like a white and green too, which was really cute. I really had a hard time deciding which one to get, but y'all know I'm a black girly, so had to grab this one. You get the little ties around the neck, or you can not tie it, um, but this kind of gives you the extra support, but I love this outfit, y'all. So we are gearing up to go to our final excursion of this cruise. It's the final day. It's time to party. We are off the ship. I got me a coffee with a little bit of Bailey. So we started the morning off with Spike Coffee. We are off of the beautiful, resilient lady. And we're headed over to the shuttle to do this final excursion. And so this is gonna be one. Oh, I can already tell these shoes were a mistake. Um, <laughs> so this excursion is gonna be a um, cooking session with, in a Greek home. I don't honestly know a lot about it. Um, but we're gonna see what all they do here. I am hungry. I did not eat breakfast because I knew we were going to eat and it's 9 a.m. Uh, we have to be back on the ship by 1.30. I think this excursion ends at 1. Um, and after that, we'll be headed back to Athens. So we'll start a new flight adventure. So let's um, get into the day and get into this excursion. The host of this excursion gave us a lot of history on her business and how she got started. And one of the things that I really loved was that she did demonstrations to teach us how to make authentic food. So that was really cool and she called some volunteers up to help and everything. But one of the things I found most interesting was that she said there really weren't poor people in Mykonos because it's so expensive to live there that everyone who lives there has like some level of money to stay. After the demonstration, we sat down and had our authentic Greek meal, and there were homemade wines on the table and everything. So it was just really a nice setup and really a different excursion than what I'm used to taking part in. We even got a book of recipes for everything that we ate while we were here. Cool that? Alright guys, so this is the final view from Mykonos. Um, just came back from the cooking class thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure this was a Jennifer error and me not reading. I thought they were just going to feed us a lot of plates. <laughs> Come to find out this was a cooking demonstration so they taught us how to make food. And y'all know how to do cooking. So this was kind of like, yeah to me but it turned out to be a really great event the host was amazing it was in her house so I did have that part right um, and so we got to go in her house and she taught us how to make these different meals and even gave us a little recipe book to keep up with afterwards so that was cool it just wasn't what I thought it was I thought we were just finna eat <laughs> so <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the final dinner. We are headed to Test Kitchen. This is supposed to be the menu that I haven't tried yet, so I'm really excited. I loved Test Kitchen the first time I went um, on my first version voyage cruise. I didn't get to go on the last one, but I'm really excited to get to go tonight. So I feel like I say the best for last. Um, so we're gonna do the wine pairing. So we're gonna get wines with each meal, and I'm gonna let you guys see the full, um, full thing for this. 
look, full experience. Um, so today's outfit is from Mika's, Micah's, however you say it. I have been dying to try them for the longest, but never got around to it. Um, so I ordered this from them and I love it. Now the second outfit I ordered didn't work out um as well but this one is adorable with the one-sided um shoulder and it's like kind of like a sweater material and feels good um so this is today's look so um we're gonna get ready to head to test kitchen and get this final dinner finished and close out this cruise so I'll see you back in a minute Test Kitchen is an elevated dinner experience where different foods are brought to you and so each plate is served individually and you really don't know what to expect or what is coming because the only thing you get to see is that one ingredient on that menu. Now I really enjoyed everything from this menu but I think I like menu A better than this one. Um, the most interesting one for me was the strawberry dessert which you guys will see a little bit later. Body and a little bit crispy with white soups in the taste. Okay, thank you. All right, so she's gonna bring me the lamb and the shrimp. So this one pairs with the lamb. It's a cabernet, and I couldn't remember what she said this was, but it pairs with the shrimp. <laughs> Strawberry. One of my favorite things that Virgin Voyages does different is that they allow you to disembark as late as 10 a.m. And so they actually will do sit down breakfast and allow you to go to Razzle Dazzle or the wake in the morning starting at 6 or 6 30 a.m. And so it's really great to be able to try those last few restaurants and get a really good meal before ending your amazing trip. And that's a wrap on my very first international trip in this series throughout Greece. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me and watching these videos. I had a blast making them and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next adventure. A very special thank you to Virgin Voyages who hosted me on this trip. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!